good morning everybody I wasn't actually planning on waking up this late after I got to the air after I got to the airport came to the hotel checked in I was so beat so tired I figured I'd sleep for about two hours and go out and do some vlogging hit Fremont Street and everything whoa no 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 this trip serious opposite jet lag because you're gaining hours uh, Man, I was beat, tired. I think jet lag is just not sleeping while you're traveling. I, I don't think it's from the time zone change. I think I'm used to that because of my job. Uh, but yeah, it's midnight. I laid down in this bed right here at 2 o'clock this afternoon. It is now midnight. So, what are you going to do? I was going to eat the buffet tonight or do something or, or go over to in and out it's not gonna happen I think I'm gonna go inside the casino real fast see what there is to do for food at midnight and uh, bring it back to the room food to go so some sort of fast food I'm not gonna eat restaurant food tonight fast food come back and then I figure what I'm gonna do is start putting some of this stuff together and get it ready for the morning because I think CES starts opening around 7 to 9 o'clock. It, it's got to be somewhere around there. The buses start loading to head over to the convention center. So I want to have all this stuff ready. I did bring a suction cup mount, a window suction cup mount here. But I don't think I'm going to take this with me there. I think this is going to be used mostly for in-room stuff. But I, 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 I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do because this rig is actually pretty big and I think I might just use this for b-roll and really high quality Las Vegas strip shots uh, not for much talking or doing quick little interviews I don't I'm a little bit nervous about pulling off interviews people are gonna see me with cameras they may think I do interviews and I've never done interviews before except once for for my son when he was uh, creating a game development trying to get something going on Patreon and stuff so they could develop this one game. I interviewed them and his partners. But uh, other than that, I'm not, I don't do interviews. I don't even know what I'm going to be shooting tomorrow. I, I think uh, I want to do B-roll with some music and stuff as I'm walking into some of the convention centers and do quick clips of the Tesla cars or the automated, all the automated stuff, electric stuff, the new computers, the new TVs. Do quick little clips and then I'll take that video footage and edit it into stuff of just me talking and showing you guys the cool stuff. But uh, who knows, I may be able to talk to some people. I just don't know what kind of questions to ask. I'm not good at that stuff. I'm not Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon's gonna go over Jimmy Kimmel because Jimmy Fallon has a new ride coming to Universal Studios and I'm probably gonna dig it and in my mind, the next Jimmy will be Jimmy Fallon and not Jimmy Kimmel. Anyway, I just woke up. I don't know what to say. Welcome. It's another daily vlog. A vlog that happens daily, sometimes at midnight in Las Vegas. I don't know if I'm going to go out on the strip, but let's go see what kind of fast food restaurants, fast, fast food options we can get ourselves into to bring back to the room so I can put this stuff together. Yes, I really don't want to be disturbed right now. Okay, it's like The Shining. Oh my god, they have it. They have my game. Ghostbusters. It's the only game I love. That's the only slot machine I will ever play. But I'm not going to be a dick tonight. And hang out at Dick's and I'm not gonna gamble. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna look for fast food. Here is where we're gonna find it. Ooh, box.
Looks like they took McDonald's out and put a breakfast burger in. All right, well, I got my food to go. Check out I know. I don't know if you guys can see this, but welcome to Vegas. It's just like the one that they used to have on the street. Anyway, I'm gonna give this place a shot. Actually, the guy that sold it to me has a YouTube channel too. Where's my face? There you are, catch it camera. Has a YouTube channel too, so I'm gonna check that out. Velocity Bolt is his YouTube channel. So we were talking for a little bit. Boy, the camera is focusing on my beard. It's on my beard, not on my eyes like it's supposed to be. Anyway, I got my food. So what I'm gonna do is head back to the room and start setting up my regular Osmo and getting ready for CES 2017 day one. Well, back to the room, take. This is one thing I'm worried about. I don't carry a wallet, so I carry most of my stuff in my phone case, in one of my phone cases, but this phone I rarely use. I was planning on leaving this here at the hotel tomorrow, but I don't have nothing to put like my driver's license or ATM card and stuff in. So I'm gonna figure something out about that. I don't wanna leave it in my pocket because I move around so much. And if you look, I'm not slim or slender. So if I sit down with my cards in my pocket, sometimes I crack them because my pants are so tight. I sit down, they get a little bit tighter. Yeah, I wear pants that are one size too small. I like to say it's not on accident. It is, it's on accident. I don't need to show off my sexy physique. But my cards break, everything breaks. I actually cracked my driver's license already and I don't wanna crack my ATM card. Just don't wanna do it. Anyway, I'm gonna check out my food here and start setting up tomorrow's rig and try and figure out how I'm gonna carry my cards and leave this phone behind. I think I got her together. What do you guys think? Is this gonna be massive? Look at this. Look. Pretty awesome. Here, take a, take a better look. So, I am gonna put this on the extension rod periodically. But that's it. That's gonna be the beast I'm gonna be carrying around <laughs> as I get messages. This is the beast. Now, I'm trying to figure out pretty much how I'm gonna work this because this Osmo that you guys are seeing me on right now is basically the same size as this. Well, it's the handle right here. We got the handle and then my telephone's on top of it. This one just here has a, little, a few extras with the phone mount. Now, the phone would normally sit up here on this Osmo. This one is pretty much run and, grunt, uh, run and gun. I just grab it, carry it around, you know, and I don't, uh, you know, so I'll have this, this one in one hand, and I don't want to have that one in the other hand, but I'm going to need both tomorrow. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Las Vegas sneeze. So I got to figure out the whole carrying procedure because though I'm going to look like an idiot walking around with two cameras I want to look like less of an idiot than normal but I still I'm still gonna look like an idiot but I mean I can't what are you gonna do so this case is gonna carry my batteries all my batteries it does have a hand strap so I'll be carrying this that and that and quite possibly an empty bag this empty bag I might actually put this Osmo in and carry that in here so I would have two bags you guys in this bag and that Osmo in a hand I'm thinking that so I can walk around like that and then uh, get my B footage and everything in 4k with that and anytime I see something cool I could use that and then when I want to walk around and talk to you guys how's this gonna work how is this going to work? I guess we're just going to have to wait until morning and see.